our team with a dream. We formally go by Management Enforcement Agency. As you can see, I'm on your top left. My name is Sabin Patel. And a couple things about myself is that I'm a business finance major. I am studying at the University of South Florida, and I hope to get a job in the financial analyst or financial advisory field. Next below me would be Sebastian Messias, who is a student here at USF as well, who is trying to get a degree in business management. Next would be Neelan Backrock, who is a junior majoring in finance at University of St. Pete, University of South Florida, St. Pete, is working towards getting the bachelor her bachelor degree and plan on plans on getting her MBA once she graduates. To the right of Neilan is Leanne Sullivan, who is returning back to school for from quite some time in hopes to get her bachelor's in accounting. Below her is Rona Chortle, who is a junior here at USF in hopes to graduate in fall of 2019. He has been working with an industry for the past 10 years and hopes to make a change into a new one with the help of his bachelor's degree. And lastly, Nancy Pham, who is a transfer and is now attending her first year at University of South Florida St. Pete in hopes to getting her bachelor's in accounting. Overall, Dr. Diazio stresses in each, each of the assignments when warranted the importance of participation. Management at any level requires interaction with a multitude of different personalities, backgrounds, experiences, and much more. Instruction can be provided to deal with the vast disparity of challenges, but experience is the best teacher. Our company is on a mission to hire a, man a new manager that has our company core principles in mind. Looking for someone who can identify people's strengths, weaknesses, someone who can do that at a company and team level, as well as someone who can make strategic, strategic decisions. In these episodes, there will be a number of examples that shows what is not acceptable to ex obtain a job. And eventually, one person shines up above the rest and shows his qualifications to be de to be hired as a new manager. Next, so we have our character profiles. To begin with, we're going to start with our interviewers, Nancy and Salvin, who are company-focused employees and have to distinguish good and bad traits, personalities, and behaviors of managers. Next, we have Kelly Kapoor, who is played by Leanne and has an obsession about her personal self while lacks her consideration for other employees. Andy Bernard, played by Ronan, is a class clown of the office, but really does not pay attention too much. Next, we have Angela Martin, who is very dominating. She's very close-minded and takes constructive criticism very negatively. Lastly, we have Jim Halpert, the perfect depiction of a general manager has a perfect resume, dresses with a professional attire, and has a great relation with the rest of his coworkers. Our recommendations and reflections, Sebastian Macias. This class has taught me about the importance of strategy and how important it really is to be strategic. The importance of communication and teamwork. Uh, it really showed me that in real life, it's not easy and it's a lot more easier to get stuff done when you have plans and you work in a group well enough to communicate and to efficiently spread around uh, information and ideas. Our voice and our skills are very powerful tools that can help us out a lot and if we can use those tools that we have there's nothing that we can't accomplish. But it's those decision-making skills that we learn is what really helps. This class taught me about being more aware and how to take advantage of those leadership skills so I can make effective decisions, knowledgeable decisions, and reliable decisions. Conclusions on management. In our journey as a group and as a team, we've learned how to use certain key aspects from the business world to help us complete a group-based assignment very well and efficiently. A team that communicates clearly is a team that is likely to succeed, meaning that any team that can relay information well to each other has a very high chance of success. 
visual aids like videos are really good and are also effective um, when it comes to visual training. Anything from animations to creations and other outlets is a great way to think outside the box and to track customers and to explain ideas and broad statements. We also have a lot of creative outlets um, for the company to learn from. Um, this class prepares you, to be honest, for obstacles that may happen in your professional uh, career. Uh, working in a, you know, in a group gives you a better chance to um, overcome problems that uh, your company could face. Um, hard obstacles. And um, collaborating with different people allows you to see different perspectives. And what I mean by that is that with everyone working together, every input has a good amount of knowledge and information and trust that you guys can collaborate on and make a better, well-made decision. We think that based on these types of aids and strategies, teams can work efficiently if they can stick to these type of ideologies. In episodes three and four, we introduced our leadership styles. There are many different kinds of leadership styles that each character is known to be best suited with. Autocratic, democratic, paternalist, laissez-faire, and even situational. Our characters Andy and Angela couldn't be any different. Andy is a go-with-the-win type of mentality. He is best suited as a laissez-faire leader. This method is to go with the wind and empower his employees. This method is effective only when employers are highly skilled and have little to no supervision required. Angela, on the other hand, is an autocratic leader. She likes to control the decision-making process with no input from her subordinates. If used confidentiality, her speed and method of leadership could possibly result in diminished productivity of the employees. Each employee has the responsibility to pick the management style they're best suited for. Both in this situation were not compelling enough to be hired as management. This is our recommendations and reflections section of our video for management at the office. In this section, each of our team members had a chance to do the reflections from the entire semester. Nellen wrote, I believe our group did a good job on showing how to use management skills. Our episodes were clearly shown by interviewing different people. Management skills that overlap with leadership skills as both involve problem solving, decision making, planning, delegation, communication, and time management. Management skills are important for many different positions at many levels of a company, from the top leadership to intermediate supervisors. Our episodes were aimed to show the critical role of a manager to ensure that a company's many moving parts are all working properly together. We achieved this by showing, in general, management is about organization. In addition, one of the primary things our group did well was working together. Our group chaps were productive while every group member completed their designated tasks. We also did well in gathering information for the episodes. Savon wrote, Our group has come a long way and accomplished many tasks together. I love my team and the way we work together and help each other at every step. We found ways to communicate much more efficiently. Since our first gathering together as well as learned how to cooperate with one another. I couldn't have asked for a better team as for each individual group member worked tirelessly to get the grades we received for each milestone. I'm proud to be part of this team and have learn many aspects about working in groups in a real life aspect designed by our project. Compared to other times where there are not much communication needed evaluations don't seem to where you can approve. I'm excited to use the tools I learned in this class in my future career ventures. Ronan wrote, this class has been the first opportunity I've had to really work with a small group on a major project. While learning the concepts written in our textbook, we're able to grow our communication skills at the same time. The different types of learning assignments have shown me how to find new ways to learn a new concept. 
I've come to really enjoy the different types of activities that are given week to week. This is a class that has the probability of making a difference in your career industry. Leanne finalized with saying, I have to say this course has been an eye-opening experience. In the beginning of the course, the philosophy of creativity and interaction in a group setting to enhance learning managerial concepts was foreign and a bit challenged for me. Throughout the course, with the efforts of my group, I've acquired an appreciation of the finger puppet management teaching style. The ability to see how the management concepts are applied in daily life was displayed in all the activities at sign and was the biggest aid in my comprehension of the material. My awesome group also played a huge part in making this a great experience. Our final recommendation from all of us was to take this class very seriously. Our group has all agreed that this is a class that makes a difference. The information you receive will be easily implemented into your everyday life. Enjoy connecting with fellow classmates as these relationships will be the difference between a successful project or a failure. Dr. Diasio teaching style allows you to grasp the information through active team oriented assignments. Constantly stay on top of your project goals throughout the semester. Falling behind will only lead to a project that becomes rushed. Creativity and detail take time to accomplish.